and the tail of the tape. J.C. Rhodes is making his MMA debut. Colin Sanders is one and two. J.C. six and three to Colin at six and zero. Oh. However, the reach he is he has an incredible reach, 75 inches to J to Colin's 64. Both gentlemen came in at a very similar weight, 171 and a half pounds to 169 from Sanders. Go. Oh gosh, that right hand. He's sharp. JC is sharp and coming out and just bringing the fire. Oh, oh my goodness, he's ferocious. Oh, that right hand landed and he ate it for lunch. Nice leg kick, there he goes. He's gotta utilize these kicks here to kind of slow down this onslaught from J.C. Rhodes. If Colin can kind of tag that lead leg, that'll help, but you know, he's getting into a firefight here with Colin. I just don't know if that's a beautiful takedown, but as you can see, Colin did a great job of basing out, staying strong, and, and, and ending up on top. Great job. Colin, what Colin's doing right there, what JC, excuse me, is doing there is he had his head higher, which is why he was able to get right back up to his feet there. God, he's swinging for the fences. He wants a finish. He did tell me last night he's, he's coming for a finish tonight. Oh, beautiful right hand to the body. And it's just this onslaught, another huge right hand. Colin is just breathing here, trying to get some oxygen. The kicks, he's got to utilize his kicks that will really help in this because these punches are sharp. They're fast, they're ferocious from JC. Nice lateral movement here from, from JC. But Colin, you know, Colin, you can never count him out. He's a dog, he's a dog and he can eat shots. Oh, beautiful takedown, did a great job of catching that kick. Beautiful inside leg sweep. I love how calm and composed Colin is right now. He's very calm, very composed. Oh, beautiful right hand from JC. Interesting, JC is looking at his corner. He's looking at the judge. There you go, nice leg kick. See, and that kind of keeps him away. That That's going to pay a big dividend for uh, Colin here. If he can utilize these kicks here as, as JC steps in, that will really help keep this distance and keep this range. I think that what will help JC, oh, God, that right hand to the body is, is those are big shots, big investments for him. He's putting a lot of money in the bank with those, and they will pay off as this fight goes on. But I think what would really help JC in this fight to kind of deal with the kicks is, is to, to utilize his feints here, just set up some of his shots here. He's, he's swinging for the fences, looks to be slowing down, and here comes Colin. Colin coming for the big shots. Oh, Woo. beautiful. I have a feeling that, that JC's injured. Let's see how he, let's see if he uses that, that his right hand in the second round here. Oh, he's using it. Not that bad. Oh, man. So clean. If he would just, just take a little fire off of his shots, they'd land a little cleaner. Beautiful, beautiful takedown there by JC. It was fantastic timing on that. Way to get it down and hold it and finish the takedown. Let's see if he utilizes it. Looks to be lacing the legs up here. Let's see if he can work his way up. Nice shots from Colin though. But he did give up his waist as as he's doing now. And, and JC is um ah, he let go of the legs, but he he's got a nice body wrap and control, a far side hip control. And let's see if he can oh, I do, I have a He's looking at his corner, I'm talking to his corner, and he's pointing to his hand. Very interesting, very interesting. I hope that Colin does not see that, because Colin, Colin can smell blood, and, and he's a killer. He will come in for a finish.
JC has significantly slowed down in this fight. Oh, but knocked the mouthpiece right out of Cullen's mouth. Cullen doesn't care. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. I, I don't like the way JC's looking right now. He keeps looking at his corner every chance he gets. He's, he's telling them he does not want to be here, but he's doing a good job of, of keeping the poker face. Let's see if he can find a finish in this fight here. Great takedown here. Great way to chain together his wrestling. I don't know if he's got a choke in or what, but he's got a heavy sprawl. Stuffing Cullen's face to the, to the mat. Oh, he's so aware. I love how aware this young man is. He's looking at his corner. He's talking to him. Let's see if he can find a finish. I mean, he's got his arms wrapped around the neck. He can look for a ninja choke. It's nice and tight. He can just slide it up. And uh, he he's, looks like he's actually got it in. Let's see if he can finish it here. Okay, okay, yes. There he goes, he's gotta hold it. Just stay tight here, stay tight. Oh, now he stood up, he's leaning into him. Oh, saved by the bell, that was so tight. Here we go, third round. This is it right here. Stalking. Beautiful right hand that landed by J.C. Rose. Another one. Oh, God, he's swinging. I love it. I love how willing he is to get in here and just make this a dirty fight. Beautiful overhand right for J.C. Oh, my goodness. That was that big overhand right. It puts people out, but... JC did a great job of timing that, got the takedown, is on top, got great hip control here, working his way up the body. He's got to get past this knee here, and then he'll be in a full mount position. He's doing a great job, though, of just controlling right now. You can tell he's tired, and he's just wearing right now, wearing. Got to get past those knees, though. Okay, he's inside control. Fair enough. And, you know, Colin is not making very good decisions here. He's staying flat on his back. He's willing. He's got his hand wrapped over the head. That's not going to do anything in this fight. He's got to get to a hip here. He's got to get to one of his sides like he's doing there, scoot to a hip, and start fishing for an underhook. Great job from the ref standing him up. Colin's got to fight. JC, I mean, JC's got to fight here. You can't focus on that. Just, just focus on the fight. Oh, God, that hook. Beautiful 2-3 combination of the right hand. But uh, Colin looks to kind of be smiling in this. Oh, he landed that big right hand, but JC eats it. Oh, big uppercut. Big uppercut. But it, JC did a great job of following through, getting inside, and let's see if he gets this big, beautiful double leg takedown. Great job by JC to finish it. But Colin does have a guillotine in. I do not know how tight this is. It looks tight. I don't know how tight it is. He's got 20 seconds to work, though. Let's see if we can finish this and get the job done. Now, what JC has to do is he's just got to lift his hips up here. Just elevate his hips, and the pressure will be off of his neck. But he doesn't seem to be too bothered because he's most certainly in this fight here. And what Colin is doing is Colin is not staying tight. Wow, what a fight. Great job by JC Rhodes and Colin Sanders. Fantastic job by both gentlemen here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision.
The judges scored the belt 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the red corner, J.C. Rhodes! What a great debut from J.C. Rhodes. I am with your winner, J.C. Rhodes. J.C., man, great fight, first two rounds. You came out there, you put it on him every which way you could. Round three came out, and he got you in that choke there, and there's a lot of people out there saying that you went to sleep. Did you go to sleep? No, those were punches. I was not tapping. No, no, before you tap, uh, before, you threw the, before you threw those punches, and everybody was saying you went to sleep, I'm asking you, did you go to sleep? No, sir. That's what I thought. I was completely there the whole time. Well, that's awesome. I mean, it was a great fight out there. How tight was that choke, though? Tell the truth. Not super. I could still breathe. But he, if, if it would have been 10 seconds more, he probably would have gotten me. That's what I wanted to hear, man, because it looked like he had it sunk in, and he cranked it up there on you. But you, you stuck it out, you stayed in the fight, you were throwing punches right at the end, I saw the punches, uh, and you got the victory, man. How do you feel in your MMA debut? I feel pretty good. I hurt my hand a little bit. Kind of messed up my third round, but we made the best of it. Well, you did a great job, man. Proud of you. Good to see you expanding out from boxing and now doing some MMA. Can't wait to see you next time, brother. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Give it up one more time for J.C. Rose.